Is Sherwin-Williams Duration Interior the best paint you can buy? Well, I don't necessarily think so, but there are a lot of people that swear by it, and for pretty good reasons. In this video, we're going to put the spotlight on Duration Home Interior Acrylic Latex. Real catchy name. And we're gonna go over some product details, what differentiates it from the competition, both within Sherwin-Williams and beyond, and I will also give you some other opinions that I found along the way. And that's because I'm just one paint person after all. If you're not familiar with Sherwin-Williams, they are a massive paint company based in North America that produce a wide variety of products, both in the residential space, as well as the commercial and industrial sectors. With a name like Duration Home, which is the subject of today's video, you pretty much get an idea of what this product is intended for. It's meant for your home. And it's also meant to have a pretty long duration or lifespan on whatever surface you're using it on. There is an exterior version of this product as well, but today we're strictly going to be focusing on the interior line, which is meant to be used on the inside of your home, whether you're using it on your walls, your trims, your doors, etc. I would classify it as a more premium product in the sense that it is marketed as being of a higher quality than your more base level paint. And because of that, you will be paying for that increase in quality. It's not quite as expensive as Sherwin-Williams Emerald, for example, but it's just under that. The nice thing that I found with Sherwin-Williams paints is you'll regularly see them on sale. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. That's my eyes peel motion. The product comes in four different paint finishes or sheen levels, including flat, matte, satin, and semi-gloss, I think. These finishes determine how shiny or not shiny your paint will look. And typically, the shinier your paint is, the more durability or washability you'll have. Flat is pretty self-explanatory, as it definitely is the lowest sheen finish you can get in this product. Flat finishes are great at hiding physical imperfections on your walls, or especially your ceilings, because they reflect less light and help camouflage any warmths or bumps in the drywall. I would recommend at at least stepping up to a matte finish for the areas that you may wanna wipe and wash a bit more because you'll just have that added security of additional washability. Matte finishes are sometimes synonymous with flat finishes, but there is a slight difference in sheen where duration matte takes a little step towards eggshell. It's sort of in between a true matte finish and eggshell, kind of that low sheen type of look. There is a noticeable shine to it, but it is very subtle. Satin and semi-gloss, on the other hand, are the shinier options. And I think semi-gloss feels nearly twice as shiny as satin in practical use. Normally I would call these both your trim and woodwork finishes, but I have seen people using satin on walls for aesthetic purposes. Maybe you want a bit of shine, purposefully. Maybe you want people's eyes to be drawn to some intricate woodwork. Great opportunity to use satin. But I would say semi-gloss on your walls is going to be way too shiny for maybe 95% of you watching. A nice default I would say is maybe going with matte on your walls, unless it's an underused dining room or bedroom where you're not worried about scuffs as much, then you can go with a flat. Duration semi-gloss is amazing on trims and doors. Unless you intentionally want a more subtle shine, then satin is totally reasonable as well. I know I'm spending a lot of time talking about finishes, but this is important. You could justify with a satin finish on your bathroom walls because shiny bathroom walls were very popular before because of that added washability. And this is kind of a big deal with duration specifically because all of their finishes are branded as having excellent durability and washability. It says so right on the label. And honestly, they're not lying. That's one of the calling cards with this product in particular. It is designed for those higher traffic areas, those more punishing areas that tend to get more wear and tear like your kitchens and your bathrooms. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, speaking of those higher moisture areas like bathrooms, this stuff also has antimicrobial agents that inhibit the growth of mold and mildew, which is extremely useful if you're taking a ton of those steamy showers without proper ventilation which is the most important thing. Like a lot of paint that exists, Sherwin-Williams advertises duration as a paint and primer in one. And to be honest, it kind of is, but isn't. 
It's not like the paint is half primer and half paint mixed together. Essentially, the excellent coverage in duration sometimes means you don't need to apply a primer on in the first place. You should be fine with just going with two coats of paint, especially if you're dealing with some more forgiving neutral or mid-tone paint colors. Now, I always recommend priming surfaces like bare drywall or any areas that require extensive repair work and plastering and patching. If you leave those areas unprimed, you'll probably have some flashing issues and there won't be a nice consistent sheen, which is a big no-no. I mean, you could sometimes get away with just using some of the duration paint as a primer, especially a spot primer, but I don't necessarily wanna use a premium product in place of a much more affordable, dedicated primer that's designed for that particular use case. I don't think I need to go into other situations like painting over oil-based paints because you'll definitely need a conversion primer in those situations, but oil paints are becoming less and less common, so hopefully you won't have to worry about that. So far, so good for duration. You got a great variety of finishes. They're all pretty durable, that moist resistance, pretty cool. It even has low VOC, which is a big plus. It means the product won't have as many emissions or odor during the painting process. So what's the catch? Well, I don't know necessarily if there is one, except for the fact that duration sort of sits in an awkward position of not being the very best paint necessarily, and also not being the most affordable. Even looking within Sherwin-Williams' extensive product catalog, you have cheaper alternatives in Super Paint and Cashmere, as well as the even more premium Emerald Paint above it, which to some people has even better coverage than duration. Now before I get into my final thoughts, I wanted to pull some opinions from some contractors that I follow online because they use these paints daily. I find myself in the filming studio more often than on job sites these days. So hopping over to an article from dengarden.com, they discuss duration exterior as well as duration home interior. So we're focusing on their thoughts on the interior line. Essentially, Matt is saying that he likes to use duration home interior for those steamy bathrooms that are prone to mildew growth. And that's obviously because of the the antimicrobial additive in the paint, but he also mentions that it's extremely washable and great in high traffic areas like kids' rooms. So it seems like he likes to use it in a more specialized fashion rather than a go-to product for all of his projects. I suspect the cost may be a slight concern, but I could be assuming things. He also goes on to mention that the matte and satin paint finishes are durable enough to allow wall cleaning without ruining the painted surface, which is good to hear. He also mentioned that flat seems to be fairly washable as well, but does not cover well in his experience, and he doesn't recommend it. To be fair, I've always had this belief system, if you have the option between flat and matte within a certain paint product, especially when you're painting walls, just go with the matte finish, because you almost always will get that added peace of mind of the washability factor it really can't be understated. It's not always the case, but if you look at Benjamin Moore's Regal Select, for example, I could maybe count on one hand I've ever used their flat finish. Some people don't even know there's a flat finish because it's really not that common. But the ultimate finish was one that I always found myself coming back to over and over and over. Now, what about Prudent Reviews and their take on duration? This is an interesting one because they compared duration to Sherwin-Williams Emerald in a fairly technical manner, even going into the difference in the volume solids found within each paint, which I think is pretty cool. They do a good job at lining out all the similarities, but more importantly, the differences in the slightly better price of duration, the moist resistance, and the durability factor. On the flip side, the big advantage with Emerald over duration is its coverage, where you may sometimes get away with one less coat. For example, if you're painting over a deep red wall, Emerald may do it in two coats, while duration might take three. But in a lot of cases, you'll be fine with two coats either way. I think duration is a pretty good compromise of quality and price, giving you a pretty solid overall value. It may not be quite as forgiving to use for the beginners out there, and it may not be the most affordable option for the professionals that are buying 20 to 30 gallons at a time, but especially if you can get this paint on sale. I think it's way more than just a specialty product that you should only consider for hallways and bathrooms. It's a great all-around product, and it gets my approval. 
whatever that means. If you are interested in a product that provides a really unique looking finish, then you should definitely check out Cashmere by Sherwin-Williams. It's more affordable and produces a really lovely suede-like look that is pretty awesome.